Hello, my friends. Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is a continuation of the series, Supernatural Healing of Triggers and Trauma. And we were discussing in the part before this, part one of this, how to step out in faith and what that will bring to you. So this is part two of that. Amen. And I'm going to teach what is going to happen when you step out in faith to lay your fears down, to confront your fears. You see, you're not just letting go and sitting around and saying, I laid it down and doing nothing about it. You are confronting fear because when you step out by faith and confront fear, your resurrected spirit is going to be met by God and resurrect. This is how resurrection happens. Resurrection does not happen by sitting around waiting on God. Amen. Resurrection doesn't happen by prayer. You may clear for a moment. These are the things you're going to do after you've taken your territory. You're going to praise. You're going to get in the word. You're going to renew your mind. Amen. You're going to clear. Now, you're going to step out in faith and confront fear. So if you listen to part one, if not, please listen to part one first. You are going to now confront your list. You've made a list of every place that you're afraid to go, that you've given power to, every person, every situation. And now you're going to go. Now, I'm going to teach, share, impart a revelation on how to set this up. And this is very important because God calls this divine retaliation. This is the supernatural process of hearing healing, absolute healing and resurrection, more than healing, revelation, knowledge of what this is really all about, all triggers and traumas. Hallelujah. And getting more of God. And there will be perks in this, things that you will receive from God that I don't know to share because it's different for everyone, but I can promise that will happen. Revelation knowledge, supernatural healing. Now, you have your list. I'm sure there's at least 10 things. Amen. If you're being honest with yourself, maybe 20 places that you can't go, things you've been pushed back from, things you've been procrastinating. Amen. So now you're going to look at them. Ooh, I feel the anointing of God right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. And you're going to take them all. You're going to look at that list and you're going to divide them in things logistically that you can do maybe, I would say, three a day. Don't do one. Don't do one. Because you cannot meet the mind of trauma, the old nature on its territory of the carnal mind. Do not be deceived. Why should you? You're the resurrected spirit. You know, the carnal mind has triggers and traumas, and you have the blood of Jesus, and it is so afraid of you to come up there. And you're going to do an exorcism. Amen? You're going to traumatize trauma, and there is a way that God does this, and it is not in the natural. That natural mind is not going to help you. I would look at that mind and say to it, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> Amen. Three a day, because three a day is confronting fear. One a day is trying to meet fear on its own territory. And you are meeting the mind in the mind. You are being played by the flesh. You know, maybe you've tried to step out in faith before and got pushed back, but you're not going to get pushed back this time because when you do the three a day, God is there with you. When you do one a day, you know, you're kind of on your own. You can do that. You may have done that before. You may be doing that in your life every day, trying to do a little something that you can't do. <laughs> it doesn't feel good, does it? No. You, when you do three a day and you line them up in a week and you start stepping out, in violent faith, knowing what you're doing. You are retaliating what it's taken from you. Your finances, your jobs, your friends, places you want to go and have a good time. Amen. Relatives, new friends, 
Amen. New opportunities, churches you're afraid to go, wherever it is, you are stepping out. Back pain. Amen. You're going to do things you can't do. Hallelujah. You're going to make the connection that a lot of this pain is from your being pushed back. Hallelujah. And not seeing what's really going on. But you will see what's going on. You will see the root of your dilemmas when you step out in faith. Amen. This is the shortcut. Three things a day. Now, you're going to go from the one thing. And this is what's going to happen. Now, I'm going to arm you with the sword of the spirit. This is part two. You're stepping and you've got your sword. <laughs> You're not stepping, trying to work it out. Fellowship with evil. This is what's going to happen. Familiar spirits, what has been holding you back from being who you are? What has been holding you back, limiting your life, having you live some little life? Amen. Beating you up. Can't do this, can't do that without getting headache, without getting a back pain, without sleeping, getting tired in the middle of the day. You get tired of the resurrected spirit. You have the energy of the Holy Ghost, a life force full of life. Amen. Vitality. That's who you are. Forget this tired thing. Amen. You're going to go day and night, three a day. I don't care if you do it at night, day, in the middle of the night. Amen. What's going to rise up of the familiar spirits. Now, it's going to try to stop you. Amen. Oh, no, you don't want to go here. Oh, no, no, I don't like it here. You know, I don't like these people. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I never wanted to go over to Aunt Jane's house and listen to these kind of conversations. You know, they're not even believers. Well, they're weak, weak believers. Whatever it is, I'm telling you what's going to happen. There's a reason why you're being held back, why you're not there. And it's the old nature part of it, the old nature's belief system that you are now traumatizing, confronting, and it's rising. This is a good sign. This is not, oh, I shouldn't be there. This is like, oh, really? Well, let me tell you something, imposter of my identity. You see, I'm here to take my territory. I'm redeemed from all these thoughts. I identify you. This is not my mind because I'm in the mind of Christ. You see, who I am loves everybody. Nothing can separate me from the love of God, neither height nor death, nor principalities or angels or devils or anything at all. No generational principality, no familiar spirit, no deception. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. Amen. As a matter of fact, I trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not on my own understanding. Shut up. And you start to not receive. You pick five scriptures, beloved, that's going to work for you. That's going to stop that mind. Amen. I am not hearing you. I take no thought. Hallelujah. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing, acceptable to your sight. Hey, your talk is not acceptable to the sight of God. I clearly see this. You're going to start to recognize thoughts and words that you've been allowing to come into your heart that have been bringing you down. Maybe that's why you don't feel good the next day. Maybe it's not back pain. Maybe it's not fatigue. Maybe you have been receiving the fellowshipping with the old nature, the blah, 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 that's oppressing your spirit. Now you're resurrecting your spirit because you're doing the talking. Amen? Do you hear what I'm saying? You're becoming aware of what's really gone. You're provoking it. By going and doing and confronting the fear of these places. It's going to rise. You are provoking evil. And you have the weapon of your warfare now. Amen. It's going to continue. You have your scriptures. I don't think so. I have a purpose for being here. I'm in a divine retaliation. The kingdom of God suffereth violence. And the violence shall take it by force. That's what I'm doing here. I'm traumatizing you by force. Back up, back down. Amen. Now, oh, you're going to see some fabulous things. Just keep going. You're going. You're not being tossed. I'm not tossed to and fro. Amen. Like a wave at sea by the slight of man and the cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. I don't care what people are doing. I have a higher call right here. 
Every place that my foot shall tread shall be mine. How could what you're saying be true? Amen. Now you go there for a little bit and deny its perceptions. Now what you're going to do. Amen. Right there on the spot. Hallelujah. You are going to connect with someone. Amen. You know, don't bring somebody when you go. Go by yourself. Because if you go with somebody else, if you go with a sister or a brother, you're kind of blocking what's really going on. You know, you're not really seeing it. Go alone. Be brave. It's your territory. Amen. Somebody can stand with you later in prayer. Right now, you just want to go and see what's up. Maybe that's something in itself you can't do. You can't go anywhere by yourself. You're codependent. That's not good. You're free. Hallelujah. Take that one. It's a wonderful thing to take. Hallelujah. You free yourself for the rest of your life. You go where you want. You can go alone. If you're a woman, if you're a man, whatever you are, you can go. Amen. Just do it. Hallelujah. Now, nothing can separate you from the love of God. Amen. You're going to go to connect. Okay. Now you connect with someone. You choose it. God will bring someone to your territory if there's one person that you will connect with. This is just God's world. He's going to do it. And you start to talk to somebody and you connect and your heart is going to open. Amen. Okay. You did one, wherever it is, your territory. You did one. Amen. Now, maybe it was a job interview. Hallelujah. You are not going to be affected by anybody else's opinion of you. You are there not receiving. You're not going to be victimized rejected. There's nothing in your territory that anybody can take from you, but you're going to see what comes up and take it down. And you're going to have the power to do it because you're stepping out in faith and God is going to give you power that you won't have declaring it in your house. Just the way it is. Faith God. Amen. Your spirit, your heart's going to know, hey, I'm in territory. It's going to, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Amen. You may not feel this on the way, hear me. You may feel the force of evil try to back you up. I don't care. Go. You can give it a week. Amen. For everything. Go for broke. Hallelujah. You're already healed. You have nothing to lose. This is done. You are just taking what belongs to you. This is worship unto the Lord. The only way you could lose here my brothers and sisters, is if you allow yourself to be backed up. Yeah, if you give up the land. I'm going to tell you how not to get be backed up now. Amen. You go home. Amen. You may feel a little, it's okay. Just choose to connect with somebody else. Call a friend. Don't talk about your situation. Just give a little love, connect, pet the dog, whatever you have to do now. Amen. Because you have number two that is going to try to keep you from. Amen. You know, at the end of this, and this is not this one, this is two and three, this is three and four and five of this, you're going to see that what it wants is to shut your heart down to your love because perfect love casts out fear. Hallelujah. So you're always going to throw the connection in your territory because you're on to it and I know what you want imposter of my identity <laughs> you want to take shut me down but I'm not giving it up I'm not giving my heart up to you anymore you see you're giving it up by not guarding it from the thoughts and the words and giving it up by letting it shut you down and not take your connections you're taking it back for, for faith worketh by love I'm connecting I'm choosing to connect amen Number two, you go to that next place, whatever that is. It's just something that you have not had success in before. You've been pushed back. You're afraid to go. Maybe you're afraid to go to, uh, to, to the mall. Amen? Hallelujah. Maybe, I don't know what happens at the mall. Maybe you're afraid to go to the mall to buy something. Amen? Maybe you're afraid to try something on. It doesn't have to be big miracles here. Amen? Go where you're afraid to go and watch yourself be attacked and take that territory. And find a little person, don't take someone with you, that you could connect with, that's reconnecting. When your heart shuts down, you want to open it, reconnect. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Reconnect praising the Lord. Be aware of this. You're stopping input and reopening your heart. Amen. Okay. Now you go home. Same thing. Hallelujah. You may even want to look at this video now before number three and get your revelation up, get your process up, know exactly what you're doing and start all over again. Now you go to number three. Amen. You're starting to feel a little better now. And you're doing the same thing. you got three in a day, three things you couldn't do. And you know what you're going to see? You're going to see you are no worse for wear. These three things a couple of months ago would have just made you crazy, triggered you from trauma, from this, from that. Hallelujah. From your past, blah, blah, blah. But you're confronting all that as the righteousness of God in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to go to bed, and you're going to get up the next day. Amen. And you're going to do another three. Hallelujah. And I guarantee you, by day three, by day four, you're like feeling pretty high. First couple of days, maybe, you know, remember with my food, first couple of days, you know, there's a shock. There's a shock in it. There's a shock when you're taking territory. Don't let that stop you. It's just fear. You may not feel the fear. It's repressed fear shutting you down. Keep the connection going. Have somebody that's standing with you, praying with you, but you're doing it by yourself. You are giving it to God by taking your authority back from the old nature and moving in violent faith. Amen. So this is going to be the first couple of days. Hallelujah. This is not going to be the whole thing. We're going to do step three. And you will see where this is going to lead you. Amen. I love you. God bless you.